enjoyed yesterday's episode of the Duck Walk. Uh, welcome to day seven. Um, it's a Sunday, if you started at the start of the challenge. Um, so well done for waking up and doing it today. Um, we're going to get started this morning standing up um, and we're going to do a hamstring walk. So we're just going to loosen off the back of our legs. Um, so what you can do is just walk around your bedroom or wherever you are doing your workout. And we walk, so we're just going to place our right foot down in front of us, bend our left knee, stretch down, lift your toes up, get your back as flat as you can, and then we'll keep moving our hands next to us as we go. So keep that stretch down through the back of our leg. So just keep that going. You can walk around your bedroom or your front room, wherever you're doing your stretches in the morning, just waking up the back of our legs. Don't worry if this feels quite tight in the morning, that's normal. Just walk around working into our hamstrings. There we go. Right, okay, so that was a good little stretch for our hamstrings. I forgot to mention at the start that you need to have a broom with you this morning or a brush of some sort or just a wide uh, long stick and that's for one of our exercises in a bit. So you can pause the video now and we need to go grab one and um, we'll carry on if you've got yours ready. And um, so we're going to go down into our first downward dog cutting. So we're going to walk our hands out in front of us, stretching now, again stretching both our hamstrings at the same time. And then we're just going to paddle our feet here, working into our hips, any little aches or pains that you've had from your sleep. Stretching into them, you can move your neck, sway your head, and we'll just work our way through here. Good. And then we're going to start to walk our hands back up, and we're going to stand really tall. Okay, so a couple of episodes ago, we worked on just balancing on one leg, so we can start um, just by doing that. That's our easiest variation today. So you can just uh, lift your left foot up off the ground and you can balance onto your right foot. If you need to, you can put your hands out to the side. Now, if you want to make that slightly harder, you can lift your knee a little bit higher. And we're just going to go and pick a point, stare at it, and just find the balance. You might have a little bit of a wobble. And just balance, keep equal weight through all four corners of your feet. Try not to grip with your toes. And then we're going to just balance it back down. And then we're going to lift up our right leg. So settle your left foot first, equal weight through the whole foot. That's it, lift your right knee up off the ground and just hold it there. That's it. Keep breathing, keep the foot relaxed. That's good. And then we're going to relax it back down. And then we're going to go into our next pose. So we're going to lift up our left leg, raise it. Again, this might be enough for you to do here, but if you can, with your right knee, start to bend it. And just bend it as far as you can. That's it, balance, and then relax. And then switch, and we'll do the same on the other side. So lift up the right knee, get the balance and then drop the left knee down as far as it's just comfortable. You might be able to go lower than this and just see where you're up to. And then we'll relax it back down. You probably find a difference between both legs. You normally have a leg which is stronger and more balanced. Okay, so we're now gonna go and grab our broom, if you have a broom, or if you've uh, got a stick, that's also good. Widen your hands, um, quite wide, as wide as you can go. We're just gonna work under the shoulder mobility. So with our, our broom, we're going to lift it up, and you might even be able to get to here, so see how far you can get there. If you can, you're going to go all the way over to the back, and then all the way around to the front. But only go as far as what's comfortable. So we lift the broom up, keeping it as far away from our body as possible, and then we reach it down. Then we go back up, just nice and slow. We're not rushing through these, take them at your own pace. Go over the top, and then we bring it back down. We'll do one more. Over the top, and then back around, and then relax 
it back down. Okay, so your gym of your room now. Right, so we're gonna go on to our tabletop pose now. So we're gonna go down onto our hands and knees. Um, our knees are gonna be below our hips. Our hands are gonna be below our shoulder. Okay, what we're gonna do here, I'll just wiggle forward a little bit so you can definitely see me, is we're gonna do a little stretch for our calves and again our hamstrings. So this is a really good one for this. Just before we start it, make sure our hands are nice and relaxed. We're not putting our weight through our wrist. We wanna keep it spread equally throughout the whole of the hand. Okay, so we're gonna put one leg back behind us. We're gonna start our right leg, we're gonna reach out behind and we're just gonna stretch down through our heel, really working the back of that leg. That's it, keep breathing. Keep the stomach nice and strong so you've got a flat back. Shoulders down and away from your ears. And push through that right heel. That's good. And then we're going to lift our right leg up, cross it over the top of our left leg, and then push into our right side. So pushing into our right hip, keep pushing down that right heel as well. You've got a nice side body stretch here. And then we're going to step it back. And we're going to step it now forward and to the right hand side of our right hand. So we're going forward and to the outer edge of our right hand. And we're going to step up onto our left toes and we're going to push into our left heel. So we've got here, we've got a hip, a bit of a hip stretch, and we've also got um, a bit of a left leg hamstring and calf stretch. So you just feel a good stretch for our, for our legs here. That's it. Push down through the hips, push down through the left heel. And then we switch it back down, back to our tabletop pose, realign the hands, make sure we've got our stomach nice and strong, back um, nice and flat, shoulders down and away from our ears, and then we do the same sequence on the other side. So we're going to lift our left leg up and push it back, push our heels down, that's it. Keep breathing, in and out, slowly find the rhythm of your breath, and we push down through our left heel. So we should feel that stretch through our calf and our hamstring. And then we're going to lift up and we're going to cross our left leg over our right leg and we're going to push in to our left hip. So you should feel a nice stretch through our left side. Keep that left heel pushed down. That's it. So it's a good stretch. Really getting into the back of our legs today. And then we lift it up and bring it forward and go to the outer edge of our left hand. You can go up onto your uh, fingertips wrist if you need to. So push down through your hips towards the ground, a nice deep stretch, and lift up onto the right toes so we also get that right-legged hamstring and calf stretch. Go for your ankles as well with this. And then we move back down into our tabletop pose, and then we're just going to walk our hands out in front of us Keep our hips above our knees and we'll stretch down and we'll just get our shoulders in the puppy stretch. Breathing in and out into the stretch. Then we we'll walk our fingers back in and we're now going to go and we're going to do some candlesticks. So this is quite a fun exercise. I'm going to go this way around. So we're going to lie onto our backs. Make sure you've got a lot of room around you for this exercise. So onto our backs, and we're just going to um, lift up, tuck up, like underneath us, you, can, you don't need to hold at the top of your eyeball because I'm showing you what to do. And then on the way back down, we widen our legs and we tap forward. And then we lift back up, and then we widen the legs and we tap back down. So we lift up, breathe in, and exhale on the way down. So inhaling on the way up, widen the legs, exhale on the way down. So we'll just keep working through these, really good full body stretch, full body workouts. So we're stretching the legs, and then we're working our abdominals to pull us up, and we go back down with control. So we're not doing these fast, we just work our way through at your own pace. Only widening your legs as comfortable as possible. So inhaling, exhaling. Go 
inhaling, exhaling. Well done. Right, so we'll just sit up, nice and tall, and then we'll just fold forward. You can let your back round here, and just relax into your hips, breathing out, feeling a bit floppy. And then we slowly come back up. And that's it for today's episode. Um, look forward to seeing you tomorrow.